Peppercot viewers. Today I am going to be introducing this glue gun, which is from Seria, and that is a dollar store here in Japan. I believe they have them in the States too, and they go by the name Ichibankan. And so, Daiso also has a 100 yen store here in Japan, and they have Daisos in other countries too, but the Daiso glue gun is actually $3. So, this glue gun is cheaper, but the other day I actually saw this glue gun in different packaging at Daiso for 100 yen. So I guess Daiso has gotten the cheaper glue gun too. And the colors were exactly the same as this, so I am assuming it is the same glue gun. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like and talk about the pros and cons of dollar store glue guns. Here's what the glue gun looks like out of the package, and there are some instructions on the back here, so I'm just going to read them off. It says, number one, plug in the glue gun and let it heat up for five minutes. And put in the glue stick from behind and just pull the trigger, is that what you call it? And the glue will come out. And if you let go of the trigger, the glue will stop coming out. And it will stick within 15 seconds, in about 15 seconds. So that's very, very simple. And it says here that the nozzle gets up to 200 degrees and it uses 10 watts and it's for 100 volts and I really don't know too much about that stuff but it obviously gets very hot <laughs> okay so about the glue gun I like the fact that with dollar glue guns you can get multiple glue guns and you do not have to worry about colors getting mixed in the nozzle when you're trying to decorate something that needs to keep the colors separate because I use my glue gun to deco den for like um, chocolate sauce and I use like pinks and browns and whites and I'm sure there are many other colors if you look hard enough for them so that is why I like using dollar store glue guns because I'm sure the more expensive ones work better but to be honest I have only ever used dollar store ones I would say that a con for this glue gun is a very very short cord and of course you can get an extension cord and that will solve the problem but it's just hard to use for me even with an extension cord because it gives a heavy part right in the middle and I feel like I'm always dragging it all over when I'm using it and let's see there is a stand here but um, because of the cord it does not stand like this and it doesn't even really stand like that so there is not much point to the stand um, so I usually end up getting a piece of tin foil or something and just laying it on its side when I'm not using it um, I do find that it does not hold the heat too well but again I have not used other glue guns so I'm not sure if this is true for all glue guns or just this one and I do plan to do a comparison of glue guns later on so I guess we will find out then, or maybe you guys can tell me down below. Um, I like to think that Peppercot, we are all kind of learning together. <laughs> so, um, I definitely think that this glue gun is worth buying, especially if you do a lot of deco den, or if you're just doing a really small project and you don't need a glue gun for all the time. Definitely worth it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you will check out our other supply videos, and please let us know what other supplies you would like to see introduced on this channel. We hope to do more demos and comparison videos and to share lots of new information and to learn along with you guys. Bye!